Hello, welcome back boys and girls. Today's story is called Merry Christmas Eve, written by Adam Wallace, illustrated by Lena Bardi. Now let's follow Eve in this magical story as she tries to save the North Pole and Christmas for all the kids in the whole entire world. Now let's see what happens. Let's get started. <laughs> the day before Christmas is a very special day that never had its own name. But that all changed when one special elf rose to glory and fame. Now Eve was an elf with such get up and go. And she worked hard and loved to play. But the head elf ran Christmas with an iron fist, and this was what he had to say. While I'm in charge, play is forbidden. Everyone has one thing to do, and soon I will be number one at the pole. I am so sick of being number two. So, the reindeer may only fly in straight lines and the girl elves must do all the baking. Santa so busy that he left everything to me and no, I won't tolerate any head shaking. We're delivering presents to two billion kids. We don't have time for fun. No singing, no laughing. No chatting, no nothing. Now get back to work and get it done. <laughs> huh? Well, that wasn't good enough for our Eve. This wasn't what Christmas was about. It's family and friends and togetherness and fun. Where's the spirit? Eve wanted to shout. And then she realized with a gasp that a spirit was nowhere around. To stop the head elf and bring joy to the pole, the Christmas spirit had to be found. So Eve searched everywhere, but she had no luck, and the North Pole was losing its groove. The reindeer was so bored with flying straight lines and they lay down and said we won't move and it got worse as she searched around santa's workshop the elves arms were starting to ache all work and no play turned their smiles upside down and then there were millions of toys still to make and still, the head elf kept them under control. This is my pole. This is my pole. Now do more. Do more. And then, Eve searching revealed a heavily guarded box that she had never seen before. So Eve walked up to the box, but the guards said, Halt! Who goes there? Stop your walking! What's inside the box? Eve innocently asked. No! The guards yelled. We are not talking. We won't tell you we're guarding the Christmas spirit. We won't. We were forbidden. So Eve took a chance and pointed away. Look, she cried, a baby kitten. And while the guards ran off giggling, searching for kittens, Eve snuck inside the box. And when she saw the Christmas spirit, 
lying inside. It shocked her to her little elf sobs. <laughs> what happened? She cried. Who did this to you? And then the spirit let out a sigh. <sighs> it's the head elf. It croaked. It locked me up. He's afraid of spirits that fly. You see, Eve? Some people need that control. They think it gives them power. But when our spirit's not able to express who we are, we grow weaker by the hour. And Eve stared at the spirit, and she knew in her heart that all spirits must be set free. And the head elves control made people act this way. They couldn't be the best that they could be. We'll show the head elf that we got it all wrong. Every elf spirit must shine. Together, as one, we can light up the world. Come on, spirit. It's Christmas saving time. And the spirit of Christmas tried to rise. But it was worse than Eve had ever feared. So she picked it up, held it close to her heart. And suddenly, faintly, Red and green lights appeared. Eve whooped and she sprinted out of the box. And as she ran round through the snow, she shouted, Helps, be yourselves. Let your spirit shine bright. Come on, come on, let's go. And with every step, if spirit shone through with our belief of how Christmas should be, and the spirit of Christmas transformed the North Pole, setting all the spirits there free. No! screeched the head elf. No, no, no! You run Christmas Day! It's me! I must run all of Christmas! I won't let you get in my way! And he made lots of nets out of tinsel and lights and hurled them through the air. But the Christmas spirit put wings on Eve's feet and when every net landed, Eve was in there. <laughs> Boom, Santa, stumping through the snow as another tinsel net missed. <clears throat> Head Elf, you have your wish. You are now number one on my naughty list. And as the Ed Elf was taken away by the guards, he screamed, You need me! Nothing's gonna get done! Perhaps not, Santa said, winking at Eve, but at least we'll have lots of fun. I was so worried things were getting out of hand. The gift list had become so large. And I forgot Christmas is about having fun together. So I put the wrong elf in charge. But one special elf had shown us the way. She's reminded us what to believe. We can walk and can play on our own special way. So the new Ed Elf of Christmas is... E. And Eve bossed with pride, the Christmas spirit by her side. She truly earned her new fame. And then 
Santa declared that the day before Christmas now had a very special name. Christmas Eve. Ho, ho, ho. It's Santa here. A very Merry Christmas and the happiest New Year. Ho, ho. 